Hello there, this is Mr. Lee here. Um, I'm a Year 7 tutor, one of a team of 10. I'm also a teacher of Humanities and Languages. So today in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Humanities Department and see how we do RS, History and Geography here. In secondary school, unlike in primary schools, we actually have separate lessons. So if you haven't been introduced to this yet, in one day you get three 100 minute lessons with break and lunchtime in between. I know it sounds like a lot, but you get used to it really quickly. And having 100 minutes per subject makes it really easy to go into depth on certain topics within a subject. You get different teachers for your three subjects of history, geography and RS. You normally get three different teachers and they'll be specialists in their subjects so they can really answer um, your question really well or direct you to any relevant place to find those answers and even ask you what you think about certain topics. Because in humanities it's a lot about what you think. Um, I think that makes it really interesting. It just means that when you're studying it, there's no one fixed answers. We've talked a bit about timetabling. Um, so you get three lessons a day and obviously um, you get to have those lessons in three um, in different classrooms as well. So there are some dedicated classrooms for history, for geography and for RS and depending on your sub what subject you have for that lesson, you'd probably be in a subject specific room. Um, so, I hear you asking, what do you actually study? Well, in religious studies, we are studying religions. Um, so in year seven, it would be um, Judaism, Christianity, Islam. And in year eight, it will be um, Hinduism, Buddhism and Sikhism. And But don't just think that we're just going to be studying loads of facts. I think that's really interesting because it's great to know more about different cultures. But we'll also be thinking, well, these are what people who believe in Judaism or these are what people who believe in Hinduism. These are the things that they believe in. How about you? What do you think about um, rules or what do you think about God? Do they exist? So there are a lot of facts and there are a lot of information to learn. But like I say about humanities, a lot of it will be about what you think as well. So in RS, we have one 100 minute lesson a fortnight. Um, history, um, you get a dedicated history less, a teacher. And in history, we tend to start off with some basic historical skills. So looking about how to consider time and date and how to look at sources. And, you know, however long you study history, those skills are still going to be really important. Um, in year seven, after we've done the introduction to skills, we start with the Norman Conquest in 1066. And then to go, we go on to medieval period. Before in year eight, we study um, the um, Tudors, uh, the Age of Empire, um, colonialism and slavery really interesting topics and in a way to understand our country better it's really important to know our history as well and you have some great storyteller and some great question question poser yeah let's go for that word some people who pose great questions within the departments and for history you get two 100 minute lessons a fortnight so plenty of time to get those thinking caps on and to think of the big issues that affect us then and affect us now well it can't affect us then but okay anyway uh what's left geography of course um in geography uh it's about understanding the world around us not just in terms of how um we humans use and interact with the world but about natural processes as well um, again, in year seven, you tend to start off with um, geographical skills, how to use a map, how to look at scale, which way around is it, large scale or small scale, those sort of questions. And um, once you've got those basic skills right, just like history, you'll be using them all the time throughout the length of time you study geography. But you can also apply these skills to start considering um, processes such as rivers, or um, about people building and inhabiting in cities. And you would then move on to look at the environment and tourism and also about um, fair trade and trading 
or about um, less economically developed countries in year eight. So it, <laughs> geography sort of starts from the scales and it zooms out from our own country of Britain to give you a rounded view of the world and you get two lessons, uh, two 100 minute lessons a fortnight to practice that. So in humanities then you get um, five 100 minutes a fortnight and they all really work together because the great thing about humanities is there are, it's about the things that are around you that maybe you haven't noticed before so it's to get you to pay particular attention to it, to get you think about it, to get you to see what other people's opinions are, and ultimately to form your own opinion. Um, you can't form opinion without facts. So you, by learning the facts and by considering it, that's how you do well in humanities. And I'm sure if you're starting to question the sort of things I'm saying now, or you're starting to give opinions about what I'm saying, I'm sure you'll be great at humanities. And you'll be led by some lovely, wonderful teachers who are very good at explaining things, very good at asking questions. No, the questions will be easy because here at Lehman, we don't believe in just giving you stuff that you can already do. We want to challenge your thinking and we want to make you think about things that you've not thought about before. So if you're feeling challenged in the things that you do, if you're occasionally finding things difficult, then you're on the right line. And you know what? We love to do a lot of projects and a lot of different works with groups as well. So you get a lot of opportunity to um, work with people around you in making things to represent certain historical period or to represent certain geographical processes. And there'll be lots of discussion so that it's not just you thinking about the things, but you get to see and hear what other people in your class thinks about as well. Look, I think it's really hard to fit everything about one, one subject into a video like this. And I know you still have questions. Of course, if you do have any questions, there's a great team. I, I'm a year seven tutor, so I know there's a great team that welcomes you into year seven. Um, and a lot of the things is just easier to answer once you get here and see how it's done. I, for one, can't wait to see you coming up and can't wait to teach you some RS and think about the big questions um, in the world. So I hope this video has given you just an introduction in what you do in humanities and I hope you feel a bit more comfortable about what we do and we can't wait to welcome you to Sir John Neiman in September. Take care. Mm -hmm.